Hey guys, Vermin here, and today I'm going to bring a tutorial on the widescreen bars effect. It's starting to come and pop up in a lot of uh, over edits, and all it is is the widescreen bars slowly closing in and then they ease out, and it's a really simple effect. So I'm just going to get my clip, and the new way that I do widescreen bars is I just insert two new video tracks. And then I go to media generators and solid color and put black on because if you use rendered black bars then the quality it's kind of fuzzy and then I'll just put two of these on and then I have pan and crop presets so I can just come here and do top white screen and then come to the bottom one do the bottom white screen and there you go and I'm just gonna drag this out here. And I'm just gonna put a color correction on it really fast just to make it look better. There we go. So I'm sorry, I shouldn't be putting color corrections on, but I won't do it. Alright, I'll, I'll fight. I really want to thin this down and make it look good. But I won't. It's about the black bars, not the color correction. Anyways, <laughs> um, so the way you do it, I know it's Minecraft, so it's a lot different than normally would. I'm just going to take this off just to keep so it's easier. But what you want to do is, it shoots there, right? So we're just going to put a marker here so we know where it goes. And I'm just going to do it real quick. Normally I would, um, when I go to do the effect, I'd use the arrow keys to slowly move the black bars up. So they're even, but I'm just gonna do this really fast. I don't want this to be like a seven tutorial for pan and crop. So all you do is, so let's say you know you want it to start here. You're gonna split both of these, and then you're gonna go to the, your marker of where you want them to go, all the way in that you want, and then you're gonna crop each one. I have this scene cursor checked, so it's already at the end, but I'll just uncheck it, and you're just going to want to go to the last frame, and then I'm just going to hold down down key, it's about there, and then, actually I think what you can do is you can just copy, and then paste and then attributes to the other one, alright, never mind, you can't because I'll put it on the bottom, so same thing when you go to the final frame, Push it up towards the top, and then you'll see it goes in, and then it, it pops right back out because um, you don't have a pan and crop to ease back out. What, um, what you'll do is then actually let's have it ease back out here. You will. You'll be able to do the copy and paste of an attributes here, because it'll make. But make sure you do it on the same row, because what it'll do is it won't go on the same bottom part. And then. Then what you do is you just keyframe it, delete that frame. I mean, it really is uh, my best suggestion on how to do this is go to the part you know where you'd want it for every single time you'd ever do an edit for it and then title it something save as a preset and that way you know you'd split one part for you know closing in widescreen bars and then you have another preset for closing out widescreen bars you know bottom widescreen or top widescreen that way it's faster enough to do all this pan and crop I mean it's it's really simple all this is, it's double closing in, all you have to do is reverse it, but I know it's really sloppy guys, but I'm just trying to make it a fast tutorial, so hopefully you guys understand what I was meaning by this, um, it's really simple, it's just pan and crop and keyframing, 
you know, you're just moving, you're just moving up and down. That's really all it is. And then your keyframe on where you want to end, and it's a lot easier when you have the sync cursor because you're able to see where it is. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, remember to keep emailing me comments and liking the videos if you like the video. Uh, for more tutorials, and that's about it, guys. Sorry for the sloppy tutorial. Just wanted to get out really fast before the day's over. And that's it. Alright guys, peace.